PGM 98387 uh, here on uh, Spanish, Washington. It's uh, May 11th. It's Friday afternoon. And what I need to do is I need to um, replace this. Because right now, this that hose fitting that's on there that's got a 5 8 um, NPT. Or no, this is a UNC actually. <laughs> Not MPT, but I'm going to put this. This I'm going to remove this because it's just glued in there. This was a relatively inexpensive cap that I just used with um, like adhesive. I didn't use PVC cement there, so that the, the the end of the garden hose fits on here, and this is the pipe that that stands on the on the corner of the house. That the end of the rain gutter spills into the into the top of that and then it, it's a, there's a column of water um, the length of this pipe here so it's good, good, good gets a good head of pressure the problem is is I, I need I need to do a plumbing so what I'd like to do is plumb this size PVC you know so then I could unscrew it and screw it on if I need to ma do maintenance on it Maybe put a clean out on a T with a clean out on one side on this on the corners. So that'll be my rainwater capture storage container. I know you're probably saying, well, why don't I do a pre flush or pre wash system? And originally I made some sketches up, I don't know if I have them on a video, where I have a pipe inside of this pipe and there's it's perforated. There's just a small one inch PVC inside of here that goes all the way to the top that has a cap on it. And then when the water fills the inside here, there's a little, I need to put a little drain here that I can shut on and off. And then this will fill, that'll pre-wash. So it'll flush the outside. The outer diameter will flush the first rainwater. And then the center pipe will run in uh, concentric inside of this larger pipe. And it'll have, the, it'll have um, perforations on it. And then this will be the the spillway will go into this other pipe like this. But this will be a T. But I need I need a, a truck. I need a vehicle to transport all the materials. And I don't have a lot of the saws and the and glues and things like that for putting PVC together. So I'm I'm thinking of I might have to hire a plumber and tell him what I want him to do here. But this this is what I'm gonna do. For now, this is just a temporary situation. So here's the, the three quarter um, standard uh, SAE thread to the 5 8 NPT for the for the end of the garden hose and that's what you know I drilled a hole basically and this is thick PVC and it's threaded it taps the, the hard plastic as I was I was as I was tightening the wrench down on this but it would be nicer to have a bigger air opening area because there's a lot of if there's more throughput then it won't it won't impede the flow of the water, so that's why I wanted eventually to go with this kind of a situation, or like, or maybe like that. We just drill through this, drill through one of these, and put put this screw this on this using this bulkhead manifold. That's there's a there's a there's a washer with threads on it here, and another a coupling there, and, or a, a gasket there, and I could put that here and instead of this. I can use this only use the size pipe so that's what I'm going to do today this was this was leaking it was my one of my first ones I did it's leaking so I have to change it and planting strawberries on my porch that's one of my cats signing off